Hello, my name is Mohammed, and welcome to my poetry reading. James Fenton is a British poet and journalist. He was born in 1949, and unlike the majority of poets on this channel, he is still alive. Fenton writes mostly about history, war to be specific. He has a unique perspective in that he was a participant in many of the events that he writes about. He was present for many of the major wars and revolutions of the past century. Today's poem is called Out of the East, and it's extremely specific. It tells the story of Cambodia in the years 1973 to 1975. This is Out of the East by James Fenton. Out of the south came famine, out of the west came strife, out of the north came a storm cone, and out of the east came a warrior wind, and it struck you like a knife. Out of the east there shone a sun as the blood rose on the day, and it shone on the work of the warrior wind, and it shone on the heart, and it shone on the soul, and they called the sun dismay. And it's a far cry from the jungle to the city of Phnom Penh. And many try and many die before they can see their homes again. And it's a far cry from the paddy track to the palace of the king. And many go before they know it's a far cry, it's a war cry. A cry for the war that can do this thing. A foreign soldier came to me and he gave me a gun. And he predicted victory before the year was done. He taught me how to kill a man, he taught me how to try. But he forgot to say to me how an honest man should die. He taught me how to kill a man who was my enemy, but never how to kill a man who'd been a friend to me. You fought the way a hero fights. You had no need to fear, my friend, but you are wounded now, and I'm not allowed to leave you here alive. Out of the east came anger, and it walked a dusty road, and it stopped when it came to a river bank, and it pitched a camp, and it gazed across to where the city stood. When out of the west came thunder, but it came without a sound, for it came at the speed of the warrior wind, and it fell on the heart, and it fell on the soul, and it shook the battleground. And it's a far cry from the cockpit to the foxhole in the clay, and we were a coordinate in a foreign land far away. And it's a far cry from the paddy track to the palace of the king, and many try and they ask why. It's a far cry, it's a war cry, cry for the war that can do this thing. Next year the army came for me and I was sick and thin and they put a weapon in our hands and they told us we would win and they feasted us for seven days and they slaughtered a hundred cattle and we sang our songs of victory and the glory of the battle and they sent us down the dusty roads in the stillness of the night and when the city heard from us it burst in a flower of light. The tracer bullets found us out, the guns were never wrong and the gunship said regret, regret the words of your victory song. Out of the north came an army and it was clad in black and out of the south came a gun crew with a hundred shells and a howitzer and we walked in black along the paddy track. When out of the west came Napalm and it tumbled from the blue and it spread at the speed of the warrior wind and it clung to the heart and it clung to the soul as Napalm is designed to do. And it's a far cry from the fireside to the fire that finds you there in the foxhole by the temple gate, the fire that finds you everywhere. And it's a far cry from the paddy track to the palace of the king. And many try and they ask why. It's a far cry. It's a war cry. Cry for the war that can do this thing. My third year in the army, I was 16 years old, and I had learned enough, my friend, to believe what I was told. And I was told that we would take the city of Phnom Penh, and they slaughtered all the cows we had, and they feasted us again. And at last we were given river mines, and we blocked the great Mekong, and now we trained our rockets on the landing strip at Pochentong. The city lay within our grasp, we only had to wait, we only had to hold the line by the foxhole by the temple gate. When out of the west came cluster bombs and they burst in a hundred shards and every shard was a new bomb and it burst again upon our men as they gasped for breath in the temple yard. Out of the west came a new bomb and it sucked away the air and it sucked at the heart and it sucked at the soul and it found a lot of children there. And it's a far cry from the temple yard to the map of the general staff, from the grease pen to the gasping men to the wind that blows the soul like chaff. And it's a far cry from the paddy track to the palace of the king. And many go before they know it's a far cry, it's a war cry, cry for the war that has done this thing. 
A foreign soldier came to me, and he gave me a gun, and the liar spoke of victory before the year was done. What would I want with victory in the city of Phnom Penh? Punish the city, punish the people. What would I want but punishment? We have brought the king home to his palace. We shall leave him there to weep, and we'll go back along the paddy track, for we have promises to keep. For the promise made in the foxhole, for the oath in the temple yard, for the friend I killed on the battlefield, I shall make that punishment hard. Out of the south came famine, out of the west came strife. Out of the north came a storm cone, and out of the east came a warrior wind, and it struck you like a knife. Out of the east there shone a sun as the blood rose on the day, and it shone on the work of the warrior wind, and it shone on the heart, and it shone on the soul, and they called the sun dismay. My friend, they called the sun dismay. That was Out of the East by James Fenton. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. take the city of Phnom Penh and they slaughtered all the house, all the house.